like them pretty girls. So when they Let's get them. F to pay respects or F for fail. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh huh. You bring light. You know what? Fine. You bring light in. You bring light in. Let's see. Let's see if you do it better, Captain. You bring light in. Choose a trait. Um. Old Sea Dog. What does that even do? Fifty percent gain through navigation. Makes creeper levels gain per day of navigation. I level fast, so that's not bad. Damage in combat against sea creatures. I just want that. You know what? I'm doing this again. I think this is still the best way to start. Maybe do some sailing instead of science. You know what? Doing sailing and hunting. That's that's our play. Sea dog, absolutely. Let's go. Smart is the way I go. The way to go. I agree. Me too. Skip the tutorial. Skip the uh, story. We've seen that already. We've got full prestige. Let's get somebody good. Um. I could get uh, who then? One and one and one. I could get Oliver. He's got nasty traits, though. Slop Eater. Minus 100% morale effect of the food. Wow. So if he doesn't have any food, he gets even more upset. Okay. Well, I, I got hunting and sailing, so I don't need a sailor, but I would like to have some hunters. Um, this guy is non-swimmer. If overboard... If overboarded from the whale boat in combat... He just instantly dies. That is no good. George doesn't have any traits. Jesse has no traits, but he's level 3. Skills. What is the skill? Character health points increase by 2 every time he levels up. He's got a clean bill of health, as it were. Okay. What about Dave? Dave is... Lay doubles if the character dies. Because he's insured. Ship's sailing speed is increased by 10. La 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 la. What is this? Plus 2 morale per crew member with different nationality. Xenophilus. Gluttonous trait. He eats more food. Alright, Donald, what about you then? Nothing. Shit, these are all crappy. Uh, overall, they have something good, they have something bad going for them. I have to get some... Oh, man. What, is this, what does this do? Minus one... He's a teetotaler. I'm not putting a teetotaler on my ship. Jesse, what do you get? Jess, Jesse's good. But he's only going to let me hire one more person. And maybe that's fine for the beginning. What's this dice look like? Still only got the three. The Sea Dog tick box means you get achievements for the game. It does, but it also means you have permadeath. Which is why you get the achievements. Can Bri Briar play as the pirates? They were doing well, apparently. Digging out old wounds. We're gonna hire this guy, I guess. And uh, we are gonna hire... Actually, I don't want this guy. I don't. I'd rather not have him. Let's, we need a scientist. Right? Let's get Donald on the ship, then. I guess. And, um, I really hate this trait. And he's a teetotaler. I really don't like that guy in general. He just sucks. He's, he's, I don't trust anybody who doesn't drink. Um, I don't want to, I don't want it. I don't want it. I suppose I should get somebody, though. Oliver, Oliver, you're... William, strong name. Oh, hold on, though. He has a good field of view. What is this, then? 50% HP regained during the navigation. That's not... It's not the end of the world. It kind of sucks, though, if he gets hurt. But I'm not really thinking about him going out to man a boat. I'm thinking about using him to see, like in the crow's nest. But this guy is generous. He's, yeah, okay, so he doesn't want as much money. 
Solitary trait. Minus one morale per crew member on the ship. Excluding himself. Alright, so he doesn't like a lot of people on the... You know what? We're going to get this guy. His trait's being pretty bad, but we're going to hire him. We're not putting him on a boat. We're just going to stick him off into the crow's nest. And that is where he will remain. Okay, so let's talk to the kid. Hello, kid. Let's find some jobs. Discover a new whaling area. That's good. Kill Hawaii Luke. Not good. Level 9. We're not even going to try Hawaii Luke. Let's get some water. In fact, we're just going to go ahead and grab 10 barrels of water. We're going to grab 5 barrels of food. No, we're not. 3 barrels of food. 3 barrels of grog. And we're going to grab 4 barrels of wood. Right? Okay, good. And we're going to start figuring out our research for standard sails. Start it up. And let's sail away. Right? It's going to be fine. So I take it that now the new Ryerstone meme will have to be, Oh, Captain, my Captain from Dead Poets Society. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shouldn't there be more of privateers and less pirates? I seem to remember reading about privateers getting rich of capturing whaling ships. Certainly a thing. Historically, I don't know. I, I do know that uh, pirates, especially pirates of the Caribbean, being being the, the most famous, what do they end up doing the most? Was it... Do they actually try to pirate and take slaves? Is that the, is that the way? Or so, at least sell them off? Or was it uh, for sugar? And sugar being rum and which is why rum was a thing. There she blows! Your yells. As he spots a pin in the distance, it could be precious whale. Let's go and get him. I'm ready to do it. Kill all the enemies present in the area. So, you bring light in. Of course you're going to be assigned to a whaling boat. <laughs> um, we're going to assign you, I suppose, to the whaling boat. Um, and uh, we're going to get another hunter in there, too. There we go. Continue. Combat. So, object dice sides won't enable commands. And we're going to make sure that somebody gets defended, I think. Although, technically, if I was just to do that, we have a better chance of... You know, no. No, no, no. We have enough chance already. We're good. I'm glad that I have this now to protect... I don't know. You bring light in was talking shit. We're going to protect George. George is safe now. Oh, ow. William got hurt. He, William is not feeling good. Random combat condition. Sea creatures' special abilities are disabled. Um, right. Let's do this again. Alright, we win, we win, we win. Close. Everybody's like, you, you do realize that if you bring light in, dies, that you're gonna lose the game. Yes, I realize that. I realize that. Um, it's bad. So, um, we have... Is this the... Where's the captain? Captain's down here. Um, you're the wrong person to be... No, no. Swap this out. You're hurt, right? No, you're not. Oh, yes, you are. No, you're not. Who got hurt? Oh, William got hurt. That's how that happened. Um... He's gonna be... He's gonna be... Ah, uh, I need him to heal, though. All right. Yeah, pop down over here. You're not near as good at seeing. But, it'll be fine. And I still need to make sure that I keep the guy who can heal people down somewhere safe. Safe being a relative term. He's well, he's with a bunch of heavy cargo. If something really bad happens, he can still probably die. But, it's fine. And, going. So, active mating area. We're going to definitely hunt whales. We're just going to stay right here. And we're going to hunt these whales. Here we go! Let's do it! Lead the hunt! Okay. So you bring light in, guess what? You're getting aboard the ships. Um, what is the current health right now? Everybody, okay, William is still a little, little badly damaged. So we're gonna get, um, William, we're gonna go assign you again. We're gonna take Donald this time, though. We're gonna heal people as the captain tries to kill. Assign? Assign. It's gonna be just fine. It's just a narwhal. Baby narwhal. We can totally handle this. Roll it up. Okay, so, never mind. Set to go. I could have healed you, I guess. 
I could have healed him. He's like, nope, let's get back to the ship. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a captain and a half right there, I tell you. Close. Is it still active? It is. No, 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 no. Just stay here. Um, we're going to hunt whales some more. <laughs> a little bit longer. If we see anything, we do. Lower the whale boats and let's go. Alternate history scenario. Caribbean Pirate Empire Go. That sounds like fun. Sign that. Um, we're going to take Donald Glover out there, I think. William, all right, we'll sign you. George, let's get her done. Continue. Combat. And uh, we're going to roll it up, and it's going to be fantastic. Oh, yeah, totally dead. Come on. Easy, easy win. More blubber. More food. Close it off. Active mating season. I should probably go here. Around Cape Horn, we're bound to go. Hula, hula. Around Cape Horn in the ice and snow. Hula, hula, hey, oh, blow, boys, blow, Damn it! I didn't realize it was going to change the music. No! Aww. But this is. Aww. But damn. Alright, you bring light in. Go risk your life. We're gonna get Donald out there too. Go, Donald. You risk your life too. To save other people's lives. And. Oh, he's stunned. Perfect. I'm gonna win. Absolutely. Bam! Let's get her done. More food. This is definitely going a lot better. Maybe maybe you bring light in is a better captain. I don't know. Better captain than Ishmael. Around Cape Horn, we're bound to go. Hula, hula. Around Cape Horn in the ice and snow. Hula, hula, hey, oh, blow, boys, blow. For California, I own. There's plenty of gold, so I've been told, on the banks of the Sacramento. Around Cape Horn in the month of May. Hula, hula. Around Cape Horn is a bloody long way. Hula, hula, hey, oh, blow, boys, blow. For California, I own. There's plenty of gold, so I've been told on the banks of the Sacramento. Starvation and ease on a Yankee ship. Hoo-da, hoo-da. And we're the police to make her rip. Hoo-da, hoo-da, hey, ho, blow, boys, blow. For California, I own. There's plenty of gold, so I've been told on the banks of the Sacramento. Santander Dave is a mate from hell. Hoo-da, hoo-da. Scott, Mr. Vine and Pete as well. Hoo-da, 1098, I see you. Hey, ho, blow, boys, blow. California, oh, there's plenty of gold, so I've been told on the banks of the Sacramento. We'll crack it on with a big guy. Oh, believe it is a bloody big oh, hoo -da, hoo -da, hey, oh, go for his boat for California. Oh, there's plenty of gold, so I've been told on the banks of the Sacramento. Around Cape Horn to Frisco Bay. Hoo -da, hoo -da. Around Cape Horn in 91 days. Hoo -da, hoo -da, hey, oh, go for his boat for California. There's plenty of gold, so I've been told on the banks of the Sacramento. 91 days to Frisco Bay. Hoo-da, hoo-da. 91 days in Dampine Bay. Hoo-da, hoo-da. Hey, oh, blow for his blow for California. There's plenty of gold, so I've been told on the banks of the Sacramento. So sing and heave and heave and sing. Hoo-da, hoo-da. Sing and make them hands quite ring. Hoo-da, hoo-da. Hey, oh, blow for his blow for California. There's plenty of gold, so I've been told on the banks of the Sacramento. Wow, that went on for a lot longer than I expected. I'm actually kind of glad, though, because it was fantastic. But I didn't really know if I should continue going, because if I did, it was going to lose the music, and I wanted to hear the song. I was kind of caught in this little bit of a dilemma. Okay, Finn Ahoy, let's do it! Ah, yes, you bring light in. Let's go, George, let's go. Will I am, let's go. This guy here, he's also a, um, he, he, I, I believe he's a, he's an entertainer. He's a, he makes music, this guy, Will I am. Okay, this is Baby Narwhal. We can handle it. Stormy waters, it's fine. Roll it up, make it great. Bam! George with the true strike. Instantly done. Uh, the day is ours. Of course it is. Damn it! We are fantastic. Look at us. Um, is this done then? 
Insight inactive whale feeding area. Okay, so I'm I'm guessing we're gonna go back over here then. Let's get out of this 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 storm. Quest info has been updated. We have found it. All we have to do now is go back and get our reward. This song's make me want to play Assassin's Creed Black Flag again. I have not played that game. Assassin's Creed 4, best Assassin's Creed. They're all pretty good. I should probably try it. Fin ahoy, let's do it. This is becoming this this particular game, this playthrough is a whole lot better than the one that we did last time, that's for sure. Um, assign them. Let's go. George, you're in there as well. And then we're gonna have Donald. Donald Glover. Donald Glover, we're gonna take it on then. Whatever you do, don't shorten Donald's name to Don. Alright, uh, and roll it up. Can we get something great? Oh, we have something fantastic. Look at all this extra blubber, man, and this extra food. We have water still? Yeah, we do. We're gonna hang around some more. Hunt some more waves. Never seen a wild goose sailing o'er the ocean. Runs all the boys, runs all rays. Just like them pretty girls. So when they Ooh, get working slow, shoulder by shoulder with one of your men, you notice his inability to get used to life at sea. He cannot eat a thing without getting seasick. I went out one morning by the river. Runs old boy. No! I met a pretty maid, her top sails all a quiver. Runs old boys, runs all ray. Oh, runs all your old day. Wild goose sails away. I said to that pretty maid so early in the morning, Runs all me boys, runs all rain. Don't break my heart just as the day is dawning. Runs all me boys, runs all rain. Oh, runs all your all the day. Wild goose sails away. You ever see the wild goose sailing o'er the ocean? Runs all the boys, runs all rain. Just like them pretty girls. So when Let's get them! Time to reset. I know the captain has seasickness now. What is that about? You bring light in, let's go. George, you're in there, man. Will I am? The man of the musical hour. Let's do it. And then, 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 random crew member gets stunned. Who? Not Will I Am. George. George gets stunned. It's okay. We can totally handle this. Yeah, we got the kill strike. Boom. Get her done. Dead. It doesn't matter if I get seasickness. I happen to still be the captain of this vessel, and my striking arm is true. Grab that food. Grab that blubber. We still have active uh, whales here. Do we have one off? We have plenty of water, man. Hunt the more whales. Still active. This is fantastic. Do you feel bad about killing all these newborns? Uh, yes, absolutely. Not enough to stop, mind you. Lower the whale boats and let's go. I mean, at least one of these points, I feel like maybe, maybe, just maybe, we're gonna fight an adult. But then again, you don't really want to fight the adults because the adults are going to be the ones to make more babies. No, wait, it's the babies that make it to adulthood to make more babies. Wait, am I overfishing? That never happened in history. Right? <clears throat> William, let's come on, man. Let's, let's go, William. Me and you, William. Captain Seasickness and George. I get stunned and Will I Am, the musical man. Roll it up. Get something good. There it is. True Strike again. This is a badass captain right here. Alright. Done. And we're gonna continue doing it, man. Hunt whales. We got plenty of food left over. We got plenty of water. We got plenty of grog. We got plenty of wood. Let's go and do it again! Efficiency is key to whaling. It is. 
George, you're going to be on the, the left side now. And you bring light in, he's going to be in the middle. And then on the side of you bring light in, we're going to have Donald. Donald Glover. Let's do it. Combat. Let's see what we can do. The creature is stunned. He's like, no! It's the captain again! What do I do? Do I go that way or that way? Can't decide. I'm going to stay right here. Roll it up. True strike. The captain again. You bring light in. I don't know. You bring harpoons, apparently. Really, really, really long ones. Okay. Continue going. Hunt whales. When Darwin helped eat a giant tortoise into extinction, I think nothing you do could be as bad. See, people say Darwinism all the time about, you know, this, that, and the other thing. When you're stupid, you kind of like... You wean yourself out of the, you know, survival of the fittest, and you kind of like wean yourself out of the gene pool. However, then again, I don't think that the tortoise should have been eaten into extinction. Although, humans are bad, I think, for that. Lower the whale boats and lead the hunt. If you're not human, apparently, we, we think less of you to the point where it's okay if we, uh, we do the things that we do. It's okay, it's fine. You're not human. Narwhal, narwhal. Baby narwhal, let's get it going. We got science, dice, science won't enable, can that, okay, so science, we don't have any science. Let's roll it up. Oh, you bring light in again. Captain Kill, that's who, that's, you bring light in, your name now is Captain Kill. Look at all of this money that we're making. Jesus. Close it up. Whale, let's hunt them more. Newborn boss, I know, I know. Doesn't even know what to do. It's like, look, water, yay, stab, oh god. Lower the whale boats and let's go. I'm, I'm really glad that this is not real life. There's no way in hell that I could, I could stab by this. Come on, Donald, let's get him. Combat. Crew members damage minus 20%. Let's roll it up, man. Uh-oh. Oh no, George, you finally got yours. That's not good. Crew members damage again, minus 20%. Roll it up. Do we not get, okay. This baby, this baby is uh, handling the business of everyone right now. Every baby that we've killed thus far is getting avenged apparently. Um. Okay, can we stop doing that, please? Ow. <laughs> We're still being hurt so bad. Clear water's no effect. Let's roll it up. True strike. I think we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Let's just go. Let's, let's move past this. Day is ours. More blubber. And of course, the, the, the captain gets the kill again. Hunt them whales. Think of the babies. Think of the children. There's no way in real life I'd be on a whaling boat. I feel you, man. I feel you. There's no way in hell that I would... Well, I can't say that, really. It depends, because in my history, my past, my actual real life history, I've been on many fishing boats. I haven't been on a whaling boat, for obvious reasons. But I have been on fishing boats. On a different types of fishing boats. From, you know, tuna. To lobster to just standard fishing boats um so i don't know i at this particular time period would i have i don't know it's just uh it's hard to imagine william let's go george actually no you bring light in, in the middle george on the side little george on the side and then and then and, and we're going to roll it up roll it good oh there's the captain again captain kill such a mighty, mighty arm, I suppose. He's the bane of all other whales. How much more time do we need before this is done, the research is done? Do we even know? We still got plenty of water, we got plenty of grog, we got plenty of... It's just I guess we just stay here, man. Hunt whales, let's continue going. You just know, want to know what kind of sound they make when you poke them. Stop blubbering. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we, okay, it's the attack of the puns, everybody. We have we have puns being sent our way. They're being hurled in our general direction. 
Alright, so Donald, you're gonna get some healing done on You Bring Light In, because You Bring Light In happens to be in a, in a bad state of affairs. There it is. Yeah, let's heal him. Now, somebody's gonna get hurt, but it's not gonna be okay. It's just George. Okay. It's just George. George is like, I could've attacked him, why are we healing the captain? Roll it up. Oh, George is gonna get the kill still. You bring light in, kills George. It was a fun afternoon. There we go. Let's continue on then. Active. Hunt them whales, man. This is absolutely stupendous. This game is the best. It gives you a ding dong when the research is complete. A ding, uh, ding dong sound. <laughs> this. While walking to your cabin, you notice one of your men surveying some papers. As he notices you, he holds up some old maps. Captain, during our last stop, I won these old maps playing dice. They show the location of a hidden treasure that belonged to the private or pirate Raveno de Lusan. We should claim it for ourselves. What do you think? I think it's worth a shot. Show me your first destination. Let's see it. Let's take a look then. What does it say? Help William with a personal issue. Okay, William. Will I am. Has a quest to complete. Journal updated. Do I know where that's supposed to be? Oh, it's down there. Now, is there supposed to be pirates down here? Do I know this? Lower the well boats and... Oh, sure. We'll, 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 we'll get to your treasure in a moment. Apparently, we have to kill more whales. Deployment. And, 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 uh, just bring it in, just, just, no, damn it, it's a sign, a sign, and a sign. I could just say last use, couldn't I? Let's try that. Sure, that worked. It's different. And, 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 one more fight before we go and find ourselves some treasure. Maybe, maybe find some treasure. Hunting dice sides won't enable commands. Really? Well, this is useless. Um, we're gonna we're gonna heal ourselves. <laughs> Whatever. Donald's like, I've got bandages. Screw you. You're not attacking this turn anyway. You don't deserve any healing. George got hurt again. Of course he did. George is gonna take some revenge. Next. We are now full of blubber and food. I'm not gonna have to buy food forever now. Okay, let's just uh, let's make our way down here. Maybe I should stay here in the mating area. I don't know. How much food do I... Uh, water do I have grog? I do. It's only 15 days to get down here. Technically. We're leeward right now. Oh, now we got better winds. Ship speed plus 25. Oh, your ship's rolling causes your lookout to experience vertigo. And he falls out of the crow's nest, landing on the deck with a sickening crunch. One leg looks badly mangled with a broken bone protruding through the skin. His leg looks irreparable. Cut it off. Let him rest and tell the others to pray for him. Mame state. He's just... Who was in the lookout? He's our backup... Our backup steer guy. On the poop deck. Do we cut the leg off or do we let him rest and just tell people to pray? I don't know, man. Both of them sound terrible. I mean, the thing is, we are whaling, but if we just... We, we have somebody now that's probably good for shark fishing as well, right? Maybe? Is that is that bad? He'll be, he'll be fine. It's just a broken bone. Will I am is the one with the treasure map, though. Does he get a peg leg? If so, do it. Peg leg is true. Okay, it's a one in five chance for him to die in this in this case. He has a much better chance. He's getting a peg leg if he maim his fine. He maimed state. He's okay. He's safe. Whew. What happens there? Is that is that the guy? He's up here now? No, he's still up there. He's maimed, correct? Is that the maimed guy? Probably. I don't see. His morale is still plus two despite having his leg cut off. That's some amount of uh, fortitude, of spirit. He doesn't hunt, just navigate. He can have a peg leg. I understand. 
We are zero days late. Now we're one days late. We're running out of grog as well. Can we please get here soon? 10% there. We're leeward. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get there, let's get there, let's get it done. Okay, you sail close to the destination marked on the crew member's treasure map. He, his unabashed excitement reveals that he expects you to investigate the area. Let us set course to the point marked on the map. Ignore him and keep sailing. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be like, yeah, we're here. Are we gonna, what do you mean, no? That's, um, let's do it. Following the map's instructions, you reach a rocky area of coastline. The plot thickens. Ooh. You sail along the coast, checking your surroundings with a spyglass. Looking for any useful signs. After a few passes, you finally notice a trapdoor hidden under some bushes. You are not sure if it's one of Rabineau de la Sans hideouts, but it is the only sign of human activity in the area. Lead your men to investigate the trapdoor. What happens? It says 33%. Doesn't tell me 33% chance of what? Send your crew to investigate the trapdoor. Send the l map owner to investigate the trapdoor. Forget the treasure and sail away. Oh no! Ah. Oh. I don't know what to do. I feel like I should lead it. Right? You bring light in. Would you lead this? Probably. I mean, right now you're probably on, you know, you're, you're very full of yourself. You're like, I can kill whales with one strike from my spear arm. I can totally investigate a trap door. Let's do it. You lower a whale boat and lead your men to the coast. Once there, you open the hidden trap door and enter the passage. The trap door hid a passage dug inside the rocky coastline long ago, but is clearly still in use, as evidenced by the burning lanterns on the walls. You order your men to keep silent and listen for noises, but you cannot hear movement or any sign of activity. Let us see what I dear. It's too risky. Let us return to the ship. Here's the problem. There's lanterns lit. Lanterns lit mean that there's people still here. People still here means that we could be possibly about to get our ass kicked. It's a treasure map. And if it's still in use, if this place is still in use, there's probably pirates. Pirates bury treasure, right? Maybe? Or at least forward-thinking entrepreneurs? No risk, no reward. Let's do it. You light a torch and lead your men down the passage. The passage leads to an old wooden door. Left open by the last visitor. You rush inside and look around. You are disappointed when you realize there is no pirate treasure to take. It looks like an active rum smuggler's hideout, even if there is no one there at the moment. Well, let us grab what we can and go. Let us take our time and thoroughly empty this place. I want it all! You load your ship with the rum barrels found at the hideout and divvy up the money you found. Your shipmate's map did not lead you to a pirate treasure, but you are satisfied with your booty. We get some, we get, we get some money. That's okay. And we get a ton of grog. Look at all the money. Look at... What? Look at the booze. Oh, that is so good. Alright, uh, we're gonna sail away. If there is anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this, and I'll see you again later. And if you're feeling super generous, please check out the Patreon site where you can support me if you have the means and know that I will be eternally grateful. Have a good day, have a good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Briar Stone, signing out.